Hello everyone, it's Sheila back again. I've been doing a just a little bit of a tutorial to show how to do this pattern on here because it's um it's a pattern I've known about for a lot of years, but I've never ever knitted by hand before. I used to do it on my knitting machine years ago. It was a lot easier on my uh, knitting machine than it is by hand but it's more it's not complicated it's just fiddly and it does take a little bit longer to go across the row where you're doing the um the bubble but it's only one row and six you only do one row of the pattern and and then it's um five rows of purl one knit one and till you come to the pattern row again so I'm going to show how to do this. This is the um the stitch I'm going to show you how to do. Um there's different names for it, but I've always called it blackberry stitch. So I've started off, I've already done the number of rows from the last from the last time I've done the um the bubble stitch here. So I've knit another five rows and you do on the sixth row. It's, um, I'm starting with knit four. And I'm going to do the, the bubble it's in the middle of this one here. So that they're coming, you've got two together like that, and then one in between, and then two together, and then one in between. That's the way they're going. So you have to take the next stitch off like that, and take it down one, two, three, four rows down the fourth one and then you put your right hand needle back into that stitch that you've just dropped and put it underneath those four the four stitches that you've just dropped off you can see the four cross there that's the stitch you've just picked up and that's the four across the the needle and then you knit into all of those five five four strands and one stitch and that's the first the first bubble or berry and then i'm going to knit three stitches And then we're going to do that again. Drop that stitch off. One, two, three, four. And then pick that stitch up. There you have the stitch that we've picked up and the four strands. And then you knit through all five stitches and then it's knit three again one two three drop that stitch off again and you take one two three, four, pick that stitch up and then go through all the strands underneath all those strands again that's four strands and one stitch and you knit through all of those stitches And then it's one, two, three, 
drop the stitch off again one two three four pick the stitch up and then go underneath those four strands your four strands in your stitch and knit across underneath the whole lot then you knit three stitches again it's a little bit more time consuming than ordinary knitting but you're only doing it once every sixth row so you can see the the bubble starting to form there and now i'll knit across that row and meet you at the end of the row and i'm near the end of the row and i'm going to take the next stitch up and drop the stitches down one two three four pick that stitch up and go underneath the the four dropped stitches I picked up a bit of that other stitch there. You're going to do one, two, three. Drop the next stitch down. It's one, two, three, four. The stitches are sticking together. <laughs> and then it's underneath those four strands and knit through all five stitches and then knit to the end of the row and then the next five rows are just knit rows and purl rows Yeah, you can see on the back there where all the stitches were were picked up from that one stitch there it's easier to do when i'm not standing over my phone looking down at the camera at it and i'm actually sitting looking at the actual knitting it's a lot quicker as well So that's all just another five rows and then i'll be doing it again and that's how actually how easy it is it's a stitch i've never done before except when i had my knit machine i used to do it on my knitting machine so that's just a little bit of a tutorial um, on this channel on my Sheila's Knitting Tips. Um, I usually do tutorials on my other channel, Sheila's Just Knitting, but I'm in the middle of a tutorial at the, um, the moment on the cardigan that I'm doing for um, Angela 
so I didn't want to put a different number up there with this, so I'm putting it on this channel. I might put it up on the other channel afterwards, after I've finished Angela's, but it's going to be on this, this the Knitting Tips one um, at the moment. And it was a little bit fiddly because I'm standing, looking down onto my, I have my phone on the, um, the stand and I'm looking down on my phone at my knitting. And it is actually awkward to actually knit that way. And it's a lot easier when you're sitting, just sitting with your knitting in front of you like this and doing it. <laughs> but um, I thought just for maybe one or two people might want to see how the, the stitch is done if they don't know how to, um, to do it. It is quite an easy stitch. Just like I'm seeing, it's just a little bit awkward. That's all when you're, you're doing it to make sure you don't lose that stitch that you're dropping down, which I think I did a couple of times, but... I can cut I can cut and paste on my video and cut the little the little bits out where I make mistakes. So that's another little bit. Thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch up with these all again sometime. So bye for now.